Hey everybody, Roman Smith here with Mountain Bushcrafters Alliance. I want to talk to you a little bit about making wax dirt, some of the do's and don'ts if you've never made it in or on an oven. Um, last year I made wax dirt by mixing sieve dirt with wax and putting it on a piece of tin, covering it with a tarp, letting solar heat do the heating. On occasion I would go back and uh, stir it up. Well, this year I've decided to do the oven. I'm pressed for time, running behind. And I want to show you some of the mistakes that I've made in hopes that you will avoid making the same mistake if you're using an oven. Uh, first of all, you see that? That's scorched. <laughs> you don't want that. That's, that's ruined. The wax dirt that I had made yesterday was uh it worked phenomenal but it had an odor to it and uh if i can smell it the coyote or bob can most definitely smell it so you can use an oven but my advice to you is to put your oven on the lowest setting constantly stirring constantly watching break your dirt and wax mix down to a small portion, uh, a half a pound to a gallon of dirt, sieve dirt. Mine's dirt sand mix. Tried it out, uh, repelled water, uh, just as I was hoping. Uh, you can see the different colorations of the dirt and sand mix. It's a little bit darker. Uh, but if you set your oven on a high temperature, you will wind up with this. Scorched earth. Scorched wax. And let me tell you, it stinks. So uh, avoid having your oven on a high setting. Put it on the lowest possible setting. And as I said before, stirring, constantly checking, uh, making sure that you keep uh, a good mixture but like I said also this works great I've tried it it repels water uh, some of the trials and errors in learning how to do wax dirt in an oven uh, solar is easy but due to the fact that I am uh, on the go in the wood shop orders to take care of I let summer pass me by I'm a week away from trap season, and I'm uh, under pressure, so I decided to go with the oven. And let me tell you, put your oven on a low setting, I said it before, I want you to avoid this. Uh, wasted about a pound of wax and two gallons of dirt so far yesterday and this morning. I wasted probably another two gallon. So that was four gallon wasted. Wasted. And I want you to avoid the same mistakes. Set your oven on the lowest, lowest setting possible. Constantly stirring, constantly watching. Uh, it'll pay off a big dividends. But this right here is complete. Uh, I'll go through it, let it cool, and I'll put it in buckets. And store it away for the longevity of my traps but uh it's imperative that we show a lot of times we don't like to everybody wants to be right everybody wants to show the good things the the greater part of it but it's, it's imperative to show the mistakes to help others to avoid the same mistakes it's a learning process for me uh, doing wax dirt in an oven and this is a it's been a valuable lesson uh, one I'll carry with me. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, follow along with me on the trap line. Let's see what this season holds for us. Roman Smith Mountain Bushcrafters Alliance. As always, go farther, stay longer. I'll catch you out in the field.